You have said that individuals have to make choices about what they spend their money on. You've, you're on record as saying that, OK? And I want to ask you then about a number of our viewers who have got in touch with us about the choices that they're making. Elsie is 77. She's a widow and she's a pensioner who lives in a council house. She receives a pension of £170 a week. Her energy bills have gone, get this, from £17 a month to £85 a month. Yeah. She will pay an additional £816 a year. To cut down on spending, Prime Minister, Elsie has now resorted to eating one meal a day. She's 77 years old. She's losing weight. She goes to the supermarket at the end of the day to buy yellow sticker discounted items. She gets up early in the morning to use her Freedom Bus Pass to stay on buses all day to avoid using energy at home. What else should Elsie cut back on, in your opinion? Well, I don't want Elsie to cut back on anything. Let's talk about, about Elsie and what we're, uh, what we're, what we're doing. And I just remind you that the 24-hour uh, the Freedom Bus Pass was something that I actually introduced, just... just Parenthetical. Marvellous. So Elsie should but, be grateful but, but, to you no, for her bus no, pass. But, but what there else is, there should plenty, she cut there back plenty, on? There are plenty of things that uh, more that uh, we are doing. So what we want to do is make sure that we have people who, uh, who are in particular hardship looked after by their councils. Mm -hmm. So we're putting much more money into local councils. We have the the particular payments for uh, to help elderly people in particular with the cost of heating. But look. Susanna, she I'm already, going to Sorry, she already I, qualifies for that. Uh, and I'm going to accept... I'm asking th you now, what does Elsie cut back on now? I don't want Elsie to have to cut back on anything. And but, we will make sure... Prime Minister, her, her energy bills have gone up to £85 a month. And the, the, the best answer is to help her ab with, abate the cost of energy as we are, but also... What, through a to, loan that she to, has to pay to back? Make, to make sure we, there's, a, there's a direct... Uh, cut in her council tax as a, as a result of what we're doing, uh, plus the... She doesn't uh, the qualify home, for the council the tax rebate as her home comes under Plus the winter fuel allowance. There are, there are measures that we put in place to help people. But I'm not going to pretend to you, you can't say Susanna, anything to I'm not going to pretend to... No, because what we are doing is making sure that we take the steps now uh, to invest in our energy supply. You'll get back to your point about the energy companies uh, to ensure that we have the supply for the medium... And the long term. Is so, it, sorry, I'm Elsie so sorry, and people Elsie. like the Elsie medium and, and long term like doesn't Elsie, help Elsie. In terms of, the point in terms is, of the Prime pressures, Minister, you'll understand oh. the point is in in a, in an interview of limited time. Please, when we are two days out from elections, the biggest issue for people is not Ukraine. The biggest issue for people right now is how they can possibly sure. afford to pay their bills, um, and they wonder: Are you in touch with what they're experiencing? Food prices are rising, going to be the biggest in a decade. Energy bills are rising, and they're going to rise again in October. Petrol costs yeah. are rising. Tax is rising. Food bank use is rising. The number of people in poverty is rising. The number of children in poverty is rising. This is on your watch, Prime Minister. And we're doing everything we can uh, to help with the... Uh, the pressures on family budgets, and uh, I totally understand and 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 get the uh, what people are, are going through. And I, I, it is important, though, to set the the global context. This is a a spike in energy prices. You mentioned food. You, uh, cost of chickens is is crazy. Ch a chicken breast. This is all being driven by the cost of the inputs, mainly fuel, uh, and that is. Been, has been greatly exacerbated by. It's uh, not what's going just on a recent in, problem, in is it? You say you're doing everything you can. You're not. You're not imposing a windfall tax on uh, the fuel companies. And we've already heard about billions in profit for BP this morning. Why not? Let me come to that because that no, is can incredible. You answer that now? Yes, of course. It's incredibly important that we focus on one of the biggest issues that we have. This country is in the insane position of having to take in, pipe in electricity uh, from France uh, and, uh, and elsewhere because we haven't done enough to invest 
in our own security of energy and electricity OK, supply. let so the energy we, companies so invest. Need, they need to and invest. at the same time... And so, so I don't... Why look, don't you impose a windfall tax on the profits? Just one off because the, in order because, to help people right now. Because it doesn't affect... Doing, doesn't help people right now who are paying their energy bills, but which Susanna, have gone up hundreds you're right. to you're, be told we need to leave that money to the energy companies because no, they need to invest. No, they do need to That's invest. That's their job. Your job is to help people pay their bills. We've now got neighbourhood crime down since I was elected Lorraine is waiting by 33 to take up all the issues that you have brought up in this interview. Who's Thank Lorraine? you very much indeed.